up gang welcome back to the youtube channel today is going to be a fun one actually we got a lot on the agenda today um first things first i guess because i'm not going to wear this inside young la black friday drop the crop hoodies 10 out of 10 fire bro. straight up this is one of my favorite pieces from the drop i'm gonna slowly because somebody i commented on the last live stream and i was like yo should i do a try on haul and somebody was like yes you absolutely should so instead of doing like a, a full video with the try on haul like when we get back to my crib i'm just going to show you guys the pieces as i'm unboxing them with jake and then uh share the link like all, on all my shit and just be like yo this is this is what's on the pieces of the new drop we'll do both i can fix them all oh bad yeah. all right um let me put you guys on a tip if you wear a lot of articles of clothing and you don't like like throwing them in the dirty clothes every time just do yourself a favor every time you take something off fold it like in a nice way and then put it where you're gonna remember where it's at so that like right now I'm gonna put this in my back seat and because it's folded I'm gonna know it's clean and I'll be like all right I can put this back in my like closet or dresser or wherever you guys like keep your shit but later today we're headed to SB go up there I'm gonna see B Lee for you those of y'all that have been with me since the very beginning um, you guys will know Braden my OG my boy love that fool to death and I rarely ever get to see him because he lives in Santa Barbara um, yeah we're gonna go visit him I think there's a lot going on for the number one party school in the nation considering it's like the weekend after Halloween. So I'm just going to go up there, chill, fuck around. Um, if you guys don't know already, Santa Barbara is known for their uh, alcohol consumption culture. So <laughs> we won't be partaking in that tonight. We got we got bold, we have goals to fulfill. If you drink, that it, isn't to small. say that isn't to say don't, because if there's a special occasion or you and your boys are going out and do like we did for Halloween went out and had some fun like do that once in Bro. a while like it's it's part of being a young person and like somebody that's to an extent because the last time i drank like actually drank prior to that was exactly a year ago from that day so it's like i rarely drink everything but, in moderation yeah, everything in moderation and learn to control your bad habits yeah but, but we're hitting arms today if you guys can't tell hey. this is this is this is the no pump pretty small so one thing I'm confused about is how do I look not natty because I I've, been, I've gotten more natty call or not natty comments than I ever have in my entire life in like the last week yeah, let me let me defend this motherfucker real quick people who aren't natty look not natty all the time no offense this fool looks like shit right now he gets in the gym he's gonna look like he's on like grams of trend it's just it just depends if you have a pump or not. Yeah, so. that's and good pump. lighting. Like, yeah, good lighting, a pump. Like Lighting in a pump changes your whole physique, bro. It's our physique that we put out, like what you guys see in videos is like us with a pump, us under good lighting. Normal physique is what he's yeah, rocking Yeah, if you right ever now. see me like just chilling in some normal Hit ass a clothes. Front of see, like that's a good physique. By most people's means, that shit's crazy. He's about to get a tricep, bicep pump. And a shoulder pump. Holy fuck. He's going to look, look like he's on grams of trend. But I mean, the same thing applies. Like, if you're natural and you have good muscle bellies and, like, you've been lifting for a while, you have good muscle maturity, like, you're not going to look... You're going to look like you lift outside yeah, of the yeah. gym, but that's pretty much it. You're not going to look like... Like, guys, I'm training so that I can look better than I used to look. I'm not training to be, like, an IFBB pro or whatever because that's not even in the in like the question of where i'm at right now if i wanted to compete yeah, with like the people that are like super super yeah. like npc competitors that are like up there ifbb pro card whatever like i'd have to take probably a cycle or two to even Bro, a look cycle, like i could have to take a he way more, way more. You're gonna have to go years like of compete. cycling and to be honest like Bro, you still look like if you walk into like the mall or some shit or Walmart looking like this, people are gonna be like, dude, this guy's on gear. But if you see someone who's actually sauce, like I've been to bodybuilding shows where like those dudes are nah, sauce, dude. bro, they're walking around. You just around, need to have like they one look friend. different. You, you gotta have, have one, one friend, friend that's actually on gear. That's and actually massive. running crazy amounts of gear. And when you see him walk, bro, it's different. It's like, ah, it's like dude, what the I, fuck like is your, that? The earth moves. Like, like yeah, you once gotta you understand into the, that, like, bro. fitness space, you can tell right away. Oh, absolutely not. Nah. Yeah, and dude, people do. People and the try thing is, every small excuse to be like, you're not natty. Like, bro, the veins right now, like, they're all right. They're yeah, all right. Nothing crazy. You get a pump, you're going to see it absurd. It's just a pump. You're, as a natural, you're pretty much always chasing what you look like with the pump. Like, you'll never be as sure. big as you want to be because you're always the biggest with the pump. All right, enough yapping. Yeah, we're, we're Just fucking hit arms. Hey, I know it's going like this. You have to keep your arms tight when you do that. So you should rise up. It's going like this. It's an interesting yeah. angle. <laughs> I know it's people. You died. 
Gotta get him back in the right spot. Whoa. Thought Buddy was bulking. Thought Buddy was bulking. Nah, but in reality, gang, I got that modeling job. So I'm maintaining the physique I currently have. I'm not losing, don't worry. I'm just eating the same amount of calories and like, working out just as hard. So I'm leaning out a little bit. I'm not gonna lean out too much more. Probably bump the cows next week because the job's on the 14th. And uh, they were just like, yeah, we don't, uh, we want you to like get skinny again. I was like, can't do that, sorry, bulking. So they were like, can you keep what you have? And I was like, yes, I can do that. So um, we're not depleting calories. We are depleting water as we get closer and closer to the skinny. job. Have nine days to kind of lean out. So if I water cut three days before the thing, essentially it's like what I did before the show, I'll look crazy lean, but I'll still be holding all the fat. It'll just be like super hard to pull off my body because there's nothing for the fat to move around in. It's just hugging the muscle. So that being said, Dude, I keep getting sidetracked. I really don't want to hit arms right now. <laughs> I'd so much rather hit chest, but I hit chest literally two days ago, so. Arms it is, baby. Into the arm edit we go. <laughs> They're not gonna want to fight you. <laughs> then you're good. I said it's not gonna hurt them. <laughs> hey, they won't hurt them that. It's, like, it's not like you're gonna knock them out. You're just gonna knock the fucking wind out of them, dude. You're gonna get hit in the chest like Hypothetically, hypothetically. 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 Yeah. No, no, it's. <laughs> hypothetically, hypothetically. Alright, let's go. Someone, someone go my mom. Someone go my mom. It's just sad. Oh, you just don't know what time it is. Let's go 
going on here? Playlist selection, bro. I gotta, I gotta play some fire shit right now. I gotta get hyped for these bicep curls, baby. Freeze like guys, see the sight. Watch a reflect right past your life. Taking all the time until I came into the crime. I come on with the fucking sound like the mission. We're gonna run up at the alley. When you're with a bitch named Sally, make a turn of size for the D on an Addy. Cause I'm like Adam, I'll stop by the dirt till I wake up. Once you get the bunch, go right through us through. If I ever fall, I bounce back like Majin. Motherfucker shit, they stop like Charmin. Summon the Rakings like a god, I'm a Shaman. You with that blast like a flight, I'm a Ramen. Bitch, your face like how do you see her? Top of gold break, do the break in Korea. I'ma make it clear, send a layer on your soul. No face like Sia when they see the whole crowd. normal sized people so when, like if you're pretty jacked and you put on the target size thing this isn't this is an exo bro it fits fucking like perfect. this is this is a, this literal is a large XL. from from young la which is like not normal size yeah. clothes <laughs> what do you what do you do here how goes the lift? The lift, it's going good. I'm low key burning out a little bit, but we got through most of arms, and now all I have left is two sets of shoulders. So let's get it. Whoa! <laughs> to see the sheer amount of packages like i'm a big dude bro like this is this is a lot this is 13 and this is minus the jackets bro you got the black puffer the i can't remember what this is called like the finish line jacket or something and then another puffer like i'm about to oh and Yo, I'm the, pants. the so, white puffer's cold i'm about to try all this shit on for you guys so you can see what i got from the new drop and of course uh, Cote Small because this shit like literally I think if I weren't sponsored I'd probably spend probably Three to four hundred bucks like just on stuff that I like that I would wear in my everyday clothing um, And because it's free to me I just bought all of the shit because it's so nice and we were me and Jake were just talking about how Nice quality Young lady look at my fucking face oil, dude. That's disgusting Nasty Ugh. Anyways I'm gonna try this shit on for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna try and show as many pieces as possible because I don't want this to take forever. But we have new sleeveless compression tanks coming out with the nice Young LA logo right there and these awesome retro shorts. Um, I like the print on these. But you guys always see me wearing the black slides, so these are the white slides. Super, super nice, super comfy. Honestly, the design is not the best, but the fit and the like feel of them, 10 out of 10. Everybody has put them on, it's been like, these are the most comfortable pair of slides I own. All right, so next up, we got the sweat shorts, actually ridiculously comfy. And uh, yeah, new uh, box logo shirts. I actually really like the print on this. It's like old English almost, which I like. and. We have new quarter zips in gray, pretty chill. I like it a lot actually. These will be my go-to covers for golfing. And same thing, 
in the black colorway. Yeah. We got the first shorts and first uh, compression sleeve, or compression no sleeve in both uh, white and gray. I don't know, I've been really fucking with compression style stuff. Damn, look like I have no hair. All right, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite pieces from this drop are these like new updated Rambo sweats. Super dope, they fit well, and they have like a little like tie thing at the bottom. So you can tie them um, to make them look like they're hugging your leg. And cargo pockets, because I fuck cargo pockets, bro. That shit's so sick. I like them, let's hope you guys like them. All right, long awaited item, the Young LA Puffers. These are restocking, these are coming out new. We had puffers drop a while ago, but these are super tough. I like the fit, and also they still look super jacked. Cool thing about these, you can wear them snowboarding, because it has the arm straps on it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Also, new cargo shirt, or new cargo pants. These are fire, I love these a lot. Hey, sleeveless compression in black too. It been hard, bruh. Heinous, dude. <laughs> it's a heinous. All right, we got an interesting fit. This is the new compression tee. It's super nice and super comfortable, actually. These are better than the compression tees we've dropped in the past, but they don't beat the super villains or the superheroes. I don't really think anything's gonna beat that because those are fire. This jacket, completely forgot what it's called, but it's super fire, bro. So nice. I like it. Oh my god, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out Germ, because he designed these pants. Those like, are so tough. So yeah. tough. The Young LA track pants, I got these in black. I got them in green. Fire. Alright. These are long awaited, bro. The red, the black jeans with the red inseam. I know you can't see that shit because it's too far away, but bro. Look. I don't even know if you can see the red. Also. Double red. Young LA cargos. These comes in a these come in a bunch of different colorways. I got the camo one because I thought these looked tough. And also, you got the nice little young law on the side. Looks dope. Engraved. Alright. I already showed you these in black, but I got the track pants in green. Again, shout out Jordan. These are so hard, bro. I think they're the immortal sweat shorts or the champion sweat shorts or something like that. They're so fire, dude. These are ridiculously comfortable. They're a little short for my liking but they're fire. I would wear these not out, but definitely to the gym. Another one of my favorite items, you guys saw this on me earlier, but it is the cropped hoodie. I really like these. And these are the green camel pants, or like the camel pants I was wearing earlier, the cargos in green. I really like these as well. All right, this is the puffer. This shit is fire. Straight up 10 out of 10 jacket. It's honestly super hot too. So if you live in the cold states, bro, go get yourself this. And last but not least, we finally, we're finally getting more socks. I got them on right now, super comfy, and um, they're really well like made. They're super thick, so good for winter. What's up, gang? So, we're headed to SB. We're gonna fuck around with uh, Brayden, my homeboy, and uh, say what's up to all the peeps up there. I have lots of friends that are from up there. Well, not from, but I have a lot of friends up there. And uh, you guys will get to meet the homie Corn and <laughs> some of the homies, uh, Lucas, get to meet basically the people that I started doing content and I was like friends with. Um, Brayden was a big encouragement when I moved up to Santa Barbara to like keep me going, keep me pumping as far as pushing out content and stuff like that. So I have a lot of love for him, a lot of love for Brayden. We've been friends since we were like in kindergarten, so really good friend of mine. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. I don't think there's gonna be anything crazy. Definitely show you guys what DP looks like. But uh it says that every video. <laughs> I think it'd be that crazy. I mean, I to me, craziness is like prep. It's like show. So Yeah. Fair. We'll see. We'll get into some fun shit. How about that? There you go. Kitchen. One of these staples, if you've ever been to 
SBCC or UCSB, you know the, for a fact what Hana Kitchen is. Most fire chicken and rice. But we're in food right now, and we're gonna pull up to a little kickback, a little party thingy. Find a corner to sit. Say what? Say what's good. I guess. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> find, find a corner. corner, to, corner, to, corner to find a corner, corner to, to post in. up in. Just sit there and just mute. vibe. Mute. Vibe. <laughs> <laughs> like there's like one over. There's two over there. There's two over there. There's two over there. There's one over there. Introduce him to the vlog. This, uh, this is Gus. Gus. <laughs> G squared. G squared. G squared. I, I, <laughs> Liza likes to call him Gus squared. It's not, it's squared. not Gus squared. It's G squared. You ever get a sturdy to South Park? I'm saying. Dude, it's a fucking whole ass Damn, game. Like, like, what is going on? Oh my god, wait. So you can hold him like a Pringles can. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary as fuck. It's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Gang, thank you guys for sticking around. It is technically two in the morning, but it's one in the morning. So, yeah, I need to go to sleep, bro. I'm exhausted. I have church tomorrow morning, but the boys are on Xbox right now, so I might, <laughs> I might hop on and say what's good. Maybe play some video games with them, but thank you guys so much for sticking around for another video. Hope that you guys like that little montage of us chilling with the boys in SB. I know we didn't get like a ton of clips, but like, there wasn't a ton to do tonight, so we kind of just hung out, chilled, said what's up. Y'all got to meet Gus Gus, the hamster, and uh, Hell yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the Black Friday try on haul. I'm wearing like the whole fit right now the black jeans and the white puffer, because these are fucking sick. Um, and yeah. I love you, gang. I tell you guys that, that every fucking video because it's true. And uh, yeah. Um, to the people that I didn't shout out last time, shout out Max Brubaugh and uh, Mikey Callahan. You know, that's a double time shout out. About to help out Mikey with some, uh, with some training here. I'm excited for us to be working together. To the YouTube fam, thank you guys so much for watching consistently. I fucking love you guys. You know, you guys are like the people I make these videos for. Now that I'm actually able to get back to twice a week consistent uploads, it's nice to be able to like stream the videos with you guys and like watch them with you guys. So uh, yeah, let me know what kinds of videos you guys want to see moving forward in the chat right there because I want to make content that you guys like. I want to make content that uh, I like to make too. So give me some ideas. I'll try some shit out. We're going to try and go for a different kind of vibe on our Monday videos um, and then Obviously, when it gets closer to prep, next prep, uh, we'll do a road to show, like kind of like how Max Taylor did his. So, be sweet. Yes, sir. I love you, gang. Make sure that you guys are staying blessed. Remember that I love you. Remember that God loves you. And have a blessed day, night, or evening, wherever you're out. Peace out, gang.